Hello, and welcome to our webinar brought to you by ArcServe. I'm your host, Katie Bavoso from The Channel Company. As businesses continue to operate decentralized and rely on cloud and SaaS applications to store and send data, the risk of losing that data increases. Gardner predicts that by the end of 2022, 70% of organizations will have suffered a business disruption due to unrecoverable data loss in a SaaS application. ArcServe SaaS Backup can help you better protect and back up that data your clients store in SaaS applications to keep businesses going and growing. That's exactly what we'll be discussing today in our three segments, along with Janine Edwards, Vice President of Marketing North America, and Sean Massey, Vice President of Sales Engineers Americas, both of ArcServe. Welcome back to both of you. It's great to see you again. Let's go ahead and get started with our very first segment, Whose Data Is It Anyway? So Janine, you're going to get us started here. And first of all, welcome back. It's great to see you again. Always great to be with you, Katie. And I love it when Sean gets to hang out with me as well. So great to be here. Absolutely. My thoughts exactly. So first of all, SaaS applications like Microsoft 365, Salesforce, Google Workspace, just to name a few, all come packaged and ready to go for the most part. The vendors of these applications are responsible for the cloud infrastructure, but who's responsible for the data a business stores in these applications? And what does this mean if it's compromised in the application? The owner of the data is responsible for the data, right? And so... Um, when we think about what's going on with SaaS applications, we're embracing SaaS applications because they obviously create operational efficiency because you're saving resources and deploying and upgrading and maintaining any kind of on-prem application. And obviously, as well as a huge impact on expense, right? So there's this shift from capital expense to operational expense, which has a really nice impact on cash flow. All good. All this stuff is super good. And, and while the SaaS provider um, has some key responsibilities when it comes to delivering the application, the SaaS application, you know, things like security of the system, maintaining its availability, the general functionality of the application. But as MSPs know, at the end of the day, the client, the client is responsible for the user management, um, but most importantly, the data, the data generated by that application. So that leads into my next question. I think that there's often this sense of security when you put your items into these applications that come with such big vendor names, but do SaaS applications have native backup and recovery built in? Oh, no, not typically. No, no. Um, and, um, you know, the MSP is educating the end user that they actually need to maintain a copy of that data, right? The SaaS provider is very clear and direct about having absolutely no obligation to return or restore their data, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, the most common, like you, as you, you know, said, these big vendors, the most commonly adopted SaaS application, O365, Microsoft calls out in that service agreement that we are not responsible for loss, any loss, and we're not obligated you know, to that. And we recommend that you are regularly backing up that data. So Janine, with the last two answers in mind, what risk does this present businesses who rely on SaaS applications? Well, the risk is obviously of an event or an incident or some kind of data loss, right? We hear about it all the time about regarding ransomware, or malware, some sort of system error can happen, but What's interesting is the most common reason for loss when it data loss, when it comes to a SaaS application is human error, right? 73% of all sort of, you know, data compromise when it comes to SaaS application comes from human error, whether that's accidental or in some cases, you know, some sort of bummed out disgruntled colleague, right? So that's the risk. The risk is data loss. Thanks so much, Janine. That brings us right into our second segment, Arc Serve SaaS Backup. And for that, Sean, we welcome you to the program. Let's get you involved. It's great to see you. Great to be here. And it's also fun to, to be here with my friend Janine too. So I love being back and, and speaking with you, Katie. Loving it. Thank you so much. So first question for you, Sean, what is Arc Serve SaaS Backup and what SaaS environments is it made for? Well, really the, the SaaS Backup is meant to really go after this 
um, you know, there's been a movement over the last 20 years um, of, of for companies to be able to access resources that are hosted outside of their own environments, right? And we call it soft software as a service now. So that's the SaaS piece. And as Janine so eloquently said a little while ago, is that while those those providers, you know, like for instance, Microsoft or Microsoft 365, they, they're taking care of everything on the back end. Um, they're not taking care of actually protecting the actual data um, that, that happens to be there. So, so the SaaS backup is really met, meant to fill in that niche, uh, that niche, if you will, and then be able to, to make sure that, that we are prepared as IT organizations across, uh, uh, across the, the ecosystem to be able to back up any of the SaaS applications that people might use. So when we look at specifically for ArcServe backup, we are backing up certainly Microsoft 365 and work, Google Workspace, um, but we also are adding additional SaaS applications such as salesforce.com and um, uh, Dynamics 365, and as well as um, Azure AD. And we have plans to be adding more more applications that we will be able to back up in the future. So tell me with this, what are the biggest highlights of ArcServe SaaS backup? First, the most obvious one is that we're, we're backing up the data, right? But but the the biggest differentiator, I would say, that the ArcServe SaaS backup has is our ability to have that data protected. And, 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 and we're doing it a little bit differently than some of our competitors, right? So what we're doing basically is we'll back up the data and it goes to a data center. And actually we're writing two copies of that. And then the other piece that we're doing is we are then um, doing a real-time replication to a, another data center. So in a sense, we have actually four copies of the data why is that important? Well, that's important for, we, we don't want the backup to have data loss, right? We don't want that, that to end up having, all of a sudden you need the backup and then it's not available. And then the second piece of that is use, utilizing blockchain, um, the way that it's manufactured. I don't wanna to get too geeky on you, but, but that, that we've developed this, is this, this blockchain uh, technology really allows the um, backups to become immutable. Right, so what that what that means then to the MSP and their customers in particular is that then when they are backing up, you know, and they're protecting themselves from lots of things like like user error and and you know potential malware or whatever that might happen with the the SaaS provider, um, but it also allows it to be immutable, so it can't be compromised. So the the data is there when you need it and it's reliable and it's very quick to be able to, to be recovered. So ArcServe SaaS backup gives your channel providers, quote, complete control of critical data by safeguarding against data loss, according to a recent ArcServe blog post. Can you explain how ArcServe SaaS backup does this? Sure, and you know, it's it's actually a very easy way and and, and what we can talk about this, you know, if you want in, in, in a bit, but it's a very, very easy way to, to get deployed and, and also to be, be configured, right? Um, but it gives, it is equipping the MSP, right, in this case, um, the, the complete control over their customer's backup. And should something be like, for instance, I, here's a common scenario. You, you have a you have a um, a user they're they're key to to an organization they've been around for a long time um, that that person moves on to a different company and typically what will happen they'll keep that mail email account out for a while and then and then maybe they 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 convert that over to a shared mailbox or whatever and I'm kind of getting into the weeds a little bit there but but inevitably you know, the, the day after all the data falls off, once they deleted that mailbox, they realize that there is some critical contract that happens to be residing in their email, right? The, the, the beautiful thing about the SaaS backup, ArcServe SaaS backup, is that MSP has 
all the tools available to very quickly log in and they can quickly use the search functionality to find that particular email that has that attachment and they can restore that and they can restore that in a bunch of different ways to be able to do that and all of that is actually takes just minutes for that to happen and so that really gives a, a great not just a comfort level but gives the partners a great deal of confidence in in the solution for them to be able to yeah we are backing that up but should when the rubber hits the road and we need to do something in order for it to to something to be restored right they it's a very intuitive easy process for them to do it and it's quick on top of that Sean, how quickly can a partner get ArcServe SaaS backup deployed and how easy is this solution to scale at will? This solution is very, very intuitive. And, and because it is intuitive, it really makes that process to be very streamlined and very easily, uh, very easily accomplished, right? So in addition to that, we also have a, a terrific uh, quick start guide um, to assist our partners in getting things set up. But generally speaking, um, I, I mean, if you're doing a doing it quick and dirty, where you're just grabbing everything, you could probably do that within you know 10 or 15 minutes. If you're having some more customizations, um, it may take a little bit longer than that. But but the product is easy to use, and it's easy to get the backups uh, set up and configured, get that whole task accomplished very easily. Thanks so much, Sean. That brings us into our third and final segment today, get more from your partnership. And Janine, we're going to go back to you for this first question. Who are the ideal types of partners to offer ArcServe SaaS backup? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, Sean really touched on the differentiators, which we love to boast about, but I think another thing we love to boast about is because of the robust feature set, and we, we, we promise you, you're not going to find another cloud to cloud application, uh, you know, data protection solution that is so feature rich and in the ways that matter, right? Uh, for this kind of data. So that means it's built for adoption across the entire partner community and customers of all sizes. But as again, Sean alluded to, we've designed it, you know, this, this portal specifically for our MSP partners, this purpose-built portal. And just to you know, to, to kind of tack on to what Sean said, it's got this unparalleled ease of deployment and management. And we know that the importance of the service desk, you know, and the efficiency of that service desk, and the value that the help desk brings to the customer at an MSP, we want to give as much control and the and subject matter expertise empowerment as possible while feeding our MSP is this robust solution. So it's this beautiful sort of, you know, one, two punch, long answer to your question, built for the entire community and customers of all sizes. It scales very nicely as Sean alluded to. Speaking of Sean, Sean, what's the business value of adding ArcServe SaaS backup to your portfolio as a partner? I, I mean, it's really the, the value to, to, the, to the MSP, the value to the partner, um, is enormous because when when you when you partner with ArcServe, you partner with um, the a company that can really have the full, complete, hundred percent scope of data protection. And it's not just data protection; it's data resilience, right? So it's it's that ability that when something goes wrong and out of whack, we can, we're resilient enough that we can bring things back. So the business value of adding this to the portfolio is, is actually twofold. Number one, um, I, I, not, not, I know MSPs have lots of different models on how they, they price their solutions and what they end up doing. And over the years, you, know, you, you look at like, for instance, the way that Microsoft prices their M365 product, um, the, the, actually the residuals that the, from a financial standpoint, the residuals of the partner kind of goes down from that. Well, this is also a way to help keep those those residuals up, and we should never apologize for 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 being in business and 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 realizing that. Right. However, that said, it is a global 
encompasses. We're just wrapping around the end user customer with all of their data, regardless of where it where it resides. And so that that value, you know, whether it's in this particular cloud or that particular cloud or that particular cloud, and we're able then to make sure that we are protecting it regardless, you know, and that that's really kind of a, a huge value proposition because because ultimately speaking, that MSP is is really responsible to their customer. They're responsible to their customer for all of their IT needs, especially when something goes awry and something goes sideways and they need to recover. Well said, Sean. So what support does ArcServe offer partners around SaaS backup? On top of this excellent solution, what else do they get from you? Well, we have we have really world-class uh, global support team that is at the ready should something go wrong. Uh, what we find, though, is that this product in particular actually um, is, is because of all of the self-service and because of the things that we've done in, in engineering that, there, it, it's very few times that, that people do engage support with it. Um, but when, when you need it, we're here. We're here, um, you know, for the MSP, we're here 24 by 7, right? So we're, we're able to, to help you out in that event that you need to recover your data. Janine, you've got the last question to close us out today. How can interested channel providers learn more? Well, obviously, uh, if you're a current ArcServe partner, you would just talk to your dedicated account manager, right? To say, how do I add this awesome piece of the puzzle that you guys are offering to my portfolio and to my offering? And uh, if you're not a current ArcServe partner, we hope that you will be soon. You just can head on over to ArcServe.com, fill out a partner application, um, and uh, you know specify in the partner application you want to learn more about this awesome solution. We also... Uh, are probably, depending on when you're watching this, are offering some sort of amazing promotion uh, to new partners. So always inquire about that. And, um, you know, again, we're just very excited to bring such an, a differentiated um, a solution because as Sean said earlier, this, you know, application-based data, you know, using SaaS-based applications is only going to continue to grow. So look for a solution that has the potential to protect as much data as possible that lives in the cloud. Absolutely. Janine, Sean, thank you both for your time today. And thank you at home for joining us. Of course, if you'd like to learn more about ArcServe and what we've discussed here today, you can visit the web address on your screen for more. Once more for the channel company, I'm Katie Bavoso. Thanks for watching. <music>